Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Happy Madden season. That's right. Day one, Madden release. Uh, I'm sure if you're hopping on Mutt right about now, you probably have like a 60 overall team. Probably can't even win a solo right now because the team's that bad. Am I correct? Uh, so that's, you know, this is the perfect time to put out a video uh, with several coin making methods that I'm using. I mean, right now, I'm going to prove it to you guys. I'm going to go ahead, like right now, I've got about 60,000 coins. By the end of this video, within an hour, I'm going to have enough money to buy one of the most expensive players. This is my goal anyway, to buy one of the most expensive players in the game right now, which is Warwick Dunn, um, and make him my all-time running back. You can see right now, I, mean, I already have some pretty good, uh, I got Dante Hall, who I've been using some of these methods to grind for, not too, that wasn't too hard to get at all. Uh, Lamar Jackson, which was actually a pre-order bonus. Uh, you know, but that's pretty much it. So by the end of this video, within an hour, I'm going to have enough to get pretty much any player that I want, because that's that's a lot of coins. Uh, before I get into the video though, if you guys want to do me a favor, since I'm hooking you guys up with these methods, hook me up back, hit me with a like button, hit me with a subscribe, if you like what you see, hit me with a subscribe uh, and stick around. Uh, but every time you guys do that, comments, likes, that all helps out this channel, it all helps out this video. So hook me up with that the same way I'm hooking you up. The first method and probably the easiest is going to my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com. I've been with them going on two years now. They're terrific. Um, they hit me up last night. They didn't want me to advertise until they had a stockpile of coins ready to go. Uh, but they hit me up last night and they said I can start advertising for them. So uh, if you hit them up, they led me to believe that if you are a returning uh, shopper with them, if you're a returning uh, customer, that you're going to get your coins first. So if you're already established with them, that's going to help you out here. But bottom line is you're going to get your coins one way or the other. You just might have to wait. Because like I said, the game just came out. You can't expect they're they're grinding coins and making coins the same way we all are. So other than that, I would say buying packs is uh, a method, but I would say it's method zero. I don't typically buy packs. I'm not much for spending on packs because I just don't find that the odds are really that great. Although I get some pretty good odds in the packs that I pull that you're gonna see during this video. So moving on, we're gonna have uh, number one, we're going to sets. That's going to be where we're going to do most of this stuff. We're going to go to Team Affinity, uh, and we're going to do a set that I think is one of the best sets in the game to do right now uh, if you use the methods that I'm going to show you. We're going to go into Series 1. Um, I mean, there's no Series 2 right now. All you really have to do, you have to have eight uh, cards, six of which are 77 overall cards, 77 plus, and uh, the, the two that are 80 plus. They're not really that hard to get. I'm going to show you a pretty good method. Uh, my current team, I actually just completed one of these. I completed Cam Akers. He's an 84 overall running back. He goes for about 40 to 50,000 coins depending on when you spend them. And there's also a lot of really good players that you could uh, pick up either to sell or to just actually keep because they're really good players. Now, you can find some rare ones that are going for like 80,000. You just have to go through these prior and find out if there's any missing and then you can kind of create your own price. But overall, out of this particular program, there's a lot of really good cards like Trey Wayne's. Not great in man cover or nothing like that but a 90 speed corner is not going to get beat deep very often then you got xavier woods i really like he's 87 speed uh aj terrell a rookie for the falcons also 90 speed uh these guys are all going for like the 50,000 range jeremy chin he's a six foot three safety strong safety 88 speed i really like that guy as well and then vic beasley jr would probably be my favorite linebacker not a lot of 85 speed linebackers in the game right now especially if you run a three four so what i'm going to do is i'm essentially just going to try to either snipe 75 to 79 overalls um you can do that through you know time remaining uh you can do that through through any filter you have success with and try to buy some cheap 77 overalls i don't really find that's the best way to go though what i typically like to do is i'm just going to work them up all the way from the 70 to 74 range and then use the exchange program so the player exchange um you really you know you need 77s but you're also going to need some 80s so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use this one right here this 75 to 79 and it's going to give me all the cards that i need uh so in reality i really have to snipe the 70 to 74 overalls which are going to be much cheaper you can get them typically around seven to eight hundred coins a piece where if you actually try to just buy the uh 77 plus overalls alone a lot of times it's like five six thousand coins because everybody knows you need them to complete these sets so it's easier and it's cheaper to build them this way if you can get enough cards like i said if you spend on average 800 times four you're spending about three thousand coins 
uh, per per card rather than spending the 6,000. So you're basically cutting that in half and that's where your profit's going to be. So once I get enough cards to do this, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to put them into the sets. Um, you're not guaranteed, that's the thing, you're not guaranteed to get a 77 plus overall. Uh, you typically will though, but ultimately that's fine because you need the 75s, the 76s um, to create the elites because you're, you're really, this is going to give you enough for both sets. So I'll typically get, like I said, you'll typically get the 77 plus, but for the the ones that you don't once you're done you're gonna have to go over to the elite side so like I said if you do get a 76 it's not a problem it's actually a solution so like I said just doing this set alone is going to be enough um, that you can complete these complete this set and you can do it at a pretty good price so like I said once I have enough cards I'm just gonna drop down to the next tier you uh, you need six of these cards anyway which is a pretty high price but you're gonna have plenty of them sitting around and then you're gonna be able to get uh, cheap elites cheap 80 to 82 elites now the only issue when it comes to this if you pull a good enough elite that it makes more sense just to sell it, that would be the next coin making method. So right here, I pull a Raheem Mostert pretty easily uh, doing this. Uh, he's selling for like 12,000 coins. So I really want to, if I want to complete these sets, the only time I'm actually going to put them to the uh, the team building set that I was talking about is if I pull a bad one. If I pull an actual 80 overall or a very low value card, which there aren't really a ton of low value cards right now. Uh, to be honest with you so that's pretty much how i'm going to maximize my profit you can see on the very next one i pull uh i pull a fullback you know fullback sell for a lot of bank uh, i also pulled malcolm jenkins uh who was selling for about ten thousand uh the fullback was selling for like sixteen thousand so if you're going to use this method to complete these team builder cards the only way it makes sense is if you get bad cards if you pull bad cards you want to use them if you pull like an 80 overall but if you pull cards with any value it makes more sense just to sell them and keep doing it until you get cards that aren't worth much value so that's probably the best way sell the good cards and keep the profit so the next coin making method is still in the same family it's the 70 to 74 overalls now the 70 to 74 overalls all you need is three cards this time you can either snipe a bunch of silvers uh, 66 to 69s uh, through the same methods uh, ultimately I mean you need to do this anyway because you're gonna need 70 to 74 overalls to create the next series but what's really unique about this particular one is the pulls once again 70 to 74 overall is typically where you're you're going to find the majority of the power-up cards right now and the power-up cards are actually selling for some pretty good banks so if you get a good power-up card like tyron smith here he's only worth about two thousand this is just some highlights of doing this i got really lucky with a richard sherman he sold for about twelve thousand i'll show you a little bit later down the line uh and then also i got a, a, a amari cooper who was selling for about eight thousand at the time so like i said going back into your binder you can see how you know just giving up a couple of cheap silvers is really netting some serious profits as as you can see i mean some of these cards are just selling for ridiculous amounts of money the last method in this video might be the easiest and that's selling playbooks now this is something that in the past i've used to go in and try to snipe cheap playbooks and sell them for higher value you can do that still um it's something that i don't know if people really know but it's super easy to get playbooks this year just like the uh the tip before if you try to find playbooks that are rare um, that aren't on the market you can typically set your own value and hope that somebody is willing to pay it uh, but there are a couple of playbooks that are typically the ones that i go for that re retain their value uh the raiders number one and the saints number two uh the raiders are typically around ten thousand coins the saints is typically around that and then higher so those are the two books i stick with because they're the most used so i pick those two up getting them is really really easy all you have to do is go over to the store to the training section and then base offensive playbooks fantasy pack for 150 training points which really isn't a lot in my opinion i mean training points really hold their value this year but 10,000 you know coins for that much training points is a really good swap so like i said i'm going to go with the saints and then i'm going to keep creating these and selling these now you can see you start off the year with a bunch of bronzes those guys alone if you just sell the bronzes you probably have enough for one or two playbooks just from the bronze players they give you which to me is insane the value they try to devalue the bronzes but you can see i mean the value is there all you have to do is know what to do with it so sell those guys turn them into coins you know snipe cheap cards the same way i mean there's so many different ways that you can get your coins up and now you can see i mean i go back to the market i got about two hundred thousand coins within an hour go back to the market uh, i was just shy the first time i had two hundred five thousand five hundred five fifty seven coins the cheapest one was two hundred six thousand i was like oh my god it's gonna disappear it happens to me a million times uh, i went back i sold one more saints playbook to try to get that final amount uh, but luckily enough when i went back to buy him somebody went underneath and sold him for 203 Gotti! Gotti! 
and I pulled it off. We got uh, we got work done. A little under an hour. Like I said, really wasn't that much uh, to do. Um, you know, I mean, honestly, it took longer to edit this video. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see uh, more videos like this, more coin making tips, more mutt tips, do me a favor to like button, let me know in the comment section. And that's it. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.